Good morning. I'm going to do a bit of a video here and a sermon. And it pertains to marriage. People have asked me how I've been happily married for 14, almost 15 years. And I keep telling them because I love my wife according to the ways I was taught from a young child from the Bible that Christ loves the church. Be as devoted your family and things will last. I learned that the hard way and now let's pray. Lord, we come to you today to learn from you And to cherish your words. To understand your words. Not to worship the preacher, but to worship you. We come to you humbly. Because we know we are flawed. Teach us so that we may better please you and our families, our wife, our husband, our spouse, the one you helped us find to be a blessing in our lives. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Uh, do you have your Bibles handy? And a coffee cup handy? Uh, all righty. Let's turn to Matthew chapter 19. Let's start here at verse 3. After a multitude of people had gathered around Jesus. The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him. That's never a good thing to do. And saying unto him, Is it lawful for man to put away his wife for every cause and he answered unto them and and said I should say and he answered and said unto them excuse me my reading goofs up have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female and said, For this cause shall man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. The Pharisees once again. They say unto him, Why did Moses then command to give a written, uh, give 
a writing of divorcement and to put her away. He saith unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, suffered you to put away your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. And I say unto you, Whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, commit adultery, and whosoever marrieth her which is put away doth commit adultery. In other words, the only reason for divorce is that one or the other partner commit adultery, fornication, which is the cleaning up of the words of extramarital affairs, well, I'll put it that way, and if we should marry someone who did not divorce for that particular reason, we would be committing adultery ourselves. We are to come to God and ask forgiveness for that. Now, his disciples ask him a question. His disciples unto him, if the case of a man be so with his wife that it is not good to marry. But he said unto them, All men cannot receive that this saying, save the they to whom it is given. For there are some eunuchs which were born from their mother's womb, and there are some eunuchs which were made eunuchs of men, and there be eunuchs which have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. For he that is able to receive it, let him receive it. In other words, trying to keep purity. And he goes on and this in this chapter and talks about children. one that was brought up to be healed. Well, this nation is like a child that needs to be healed. But right now, let us concentrate on one thing. If we are married, cherish that one we are married to as Christ cherishes the church. And I'm not talking about the physical building. I'm talking about the individuals who have accepted Christ as Lord and Savior. Those that follow Him, even though we may get 
confused reading the word until we continue to read and our eyes are opened. Let us not fall into that worldly temptation of, oh, this person that I'm married to no longer holds my interest. I will divorce. Or this person here has more money than this person. Money does not correlate. You married your spouse for life. You married your spouse for love. You married your spouse for understanding. If that collapses where they are cheating, and you know that they've done things that are to be only between a man and a wife. That is the grounds for divorce. Adultery is the grounds for divorce. I thank you for watching this video. Let's pray once more. Lord, I pray that I do not lead these people astray. I hope I lead them to you and your understanding. That we are to love our spouses, not for a day, but for a lifetime and beyond. I pray that your word reaches out from my terrible reading, that people read it for themselves and understand for themselves that you had a purpose for mankind. And we as humans and men and women have strayed from your word. Let us pray that this day brightens our outlook and helps us love the one we are married to. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again. Oops.